hi guys welcome back to my channel so this is part two of me trying on all the clothes i've made part one was like 20 minutes long so i had to like break it up and make it part two so in part two i'll be showing you guys the purses and the dresses i've made if you haven't watched part one please click the link right here so you do not miss any of that because it was really nice here is some clips on some parts of part one <music> So now let's try on these dresses. Now we're going to dresses. So this dress requires some inner wear sort of thing. Do I wear this backwards? This is not the inner wear I usually wear with this. I ma I made a whole inner wear for this thing, but it's somewhere in the in the big pile of clothes which I am fixing right now. So but this is what this one looks like. I like how it's just free. I made this around like three years ago and it's i still love it so i'm not giving it away it's so it's it's the, it's so easy to throw on and i feel like you can wear this for like literally anything if you wear this to school just hold this like you can pin it here if you want it's it's it gives you the opportunity to do anything you want so i actually love it it's made out of silk or chiffon this doesn't feel chiffony to me it's some kind of silk but See, I like the way it makes me look tallish on my way because of the way I arrange this horizontally. Actually, vertically. I don't know the difference between horizontal and vertical. I think it's called vertically, but this is straight, so it makes me look tall and complements my shape. And it also makes it look like I have a smaller waist than hip here. Actually, I have a smaller waist than hip, but it, it, it makes me look like I have an hourglass figure because it's big and then it keeps you wondering. And does she actually have hips? Does she not have hips? But <laughs> that's why I love this dress. Before I go to the dresses, I would like to show you guys some of the process which I've made. Oh, I have to bend up for this one. But I made this purse out of kente fabric. That's how it looks on the inside. What's that on this side? Oh, the skip wrappers. <laughs> Let's pretend we didn't see that. But yeah, I made this purse. That's what it looks like. You can just fit probably your phone or something and then it just looks like an envelope. It's not supposed to look bigger than this. So this one is stain. This one I also made. It has Ankara inside, but then I covered it with lace because I had I had made myself a skirt out of this lace fabric. No, I made myself a top out of this lace fabric. So I wanted something to like you know match it and everything. So this is what it looks like on the ends. I've used this, I've used the life out of this, so it looks makeup has poured in it and everything. But it was my go-to purse for everything. So this one is staying. Look at this purse. Basically the same envelope thing. I like it so much, but heaven knows I'm not wearing this. So I'm giving this one. This one, so I made it Ankara. If you can look well inside, you see the Ankara. And then I covered it with lace fabric. And this one looks like this one has more room than the other ones on the inside. For some reason, the back is deformed. I don't know why. Oh, I think just because it's. I've never used it before, and then it just keeps pressing down. So same envelope format, but a different cut. I made this. I don't recall when I made this, but I made it at some point in my life. So that's what it looks like let me know what you think of this process this one is hmm i didn't make a handle for this one so it's going to be like with it i'll give it and go anyway too now this one it was supposed to be a circle purse i was attempting to make the circle purse it was my first time attempting it so i didn't use enough like stiffening fabric inside so it's just so you arrange it it just looks like it's not a circle but this is what it looks like this is what it's supposed to look like and this is what it looks like actually i think it came out really good so this one is staying i'm not going to take it anywhere but it's still staying so that's it for my process now i'm going to try on the dresses that are left here <sighs> this dress has a very long story to it so i made this dress because i was going on a date with this guy i had a crush on it wasn't really a little guy it was him me my best friend his best friend and one of my other friends and you know we're just hanging out it was the last time i saw him before it was last time i saw all of them before coming to this country so this dress holds a lot of memories it was the last time i saw them so i'll just like you know make something that was cute i haven't worn it in forever i don't know how i haven't worn it in forever but i still want to keep it just for the fact that it holds a lot of memories for me so this dress is staying i have never worn this before <laughs> mostly because i didn't make it for myself okay so <laughs> This one I made for my draping class project. My teacher literally gave us a he gave us cakes. He gave everybody in class a different cake. And he's like, look at this cake and get an inspiration from it. My cake was a plain white cake with some buttons on it. You know what? 
I'll, I'll take it upon myself to go back to that class and look for that picture of that cake and include it on this side of the screen so you see where i got my inspiration for this dress so i'll get something like so my purpose for this dress is like you know um a reception dress for a bride and i made this to fit the mannequin i had no idea it was going to fit me i like i'm so in love with how this looks bro like i i, I instantly want to get married in this it's so simple and so the, the only thing my teacher didn't like was the bow so the cake had a big bow on it and i had to incorporate it into a dress in some way so i just said like slap a big bow here but my teacher didn't like it. it was like it was going to be a perfect dress if i didn't put the bow here and if i didn't put all these buttons see there's a button here and there's a button here but this is gorgeous look how it makes me look like i have shade i like this dress it was actually really challenging for me but <laughs> now that i wear this dress it just makes me so happy that was my best class that's my best class so far draping my professor was like i, I feel like he's the funniest man in this life it he made it so easy for me to learn draping and at this point i feel like i'll start draping on my things again because this look at how this fits for i just I, I, are you feeling the wedding bells or is it just me <laughs> okay this one see if any of you that watches video wants to get this dress it's a size i believe i'm a size four so it's a size four if anybody watching this video wants to get this dress just contact me on my instagram and i will sell it to you at whatever price i choose to sell it to you i'm definitely not keeping this one for myself because it's like me keeping a wedding dress myself which i'm not getting married anytime soon so so this one i'm going to sell but i feel like i said to someone special not just any random person i just love this dress so i don't that the thing is i don't want to let go of this but it's just sitting in my closet i'm not going to ever wear it at least not now it's not just going to pass off as a wedding dress it also pass off as like a cocktail a date dress <laughs> if you wear it on a date the guys must be like are we getting married already i didn't get the memo work i think this is cute i don't want to take it off now it makes me feel so happy that i actually made something as gorgeous as this i don't know if you guys are feeling the chemistry that i'm feeling with this dress it's only three minutes of me talking about how much I love this dress. So I'll go take it off. But I absolutely love it. Let me know what you think about this particular dress in the comment section. This dress always makes me feel so princessy. Like, it makes me feel like a Disney princess. I feel like, what's her name? The black Disney princess. The one that's in Princess and Frog. Tiana, Tiara, T Tiana, Tiara. I don't say Tia something. But I feel like this, she will pull this off so perfectly. Like, this makes me feel so princessy. But unfortunately, I'm letting this go. I made this dress because me and my best friend wanted to feel princessy. We're going for a convention. So I made her one of these too. And then we made shoes that had this fabric on it. Her heart was in the blue and pink, I think. And mine was, you know, brown. But we both made shoes that... I made it, I made it for her. She doesn't, she doesn't know how to make shoes. I made the shoe too for her. So like, you know, have the same print as the fabric. And this just gives me lots of memories. But it just always makes me feel so princessy. <laughs> so I'm getting rid of it, unfortunately. So this is... Or going away because i don't think i feel like it's going to be something perfect for a ball and i really don't see look look look, look at the effort i put into this dress for crying out loud i literally cut those circles searched them all around and sewed them to this how did i have so much time on my hands i feel like this video is going to be 30 minutes long guys i made this i deserve to show it off so keep watching so this one i will i i i, I use this um I wanted to make it look Chinesey, so hence this cut here. Because you know, most I don't know what those dresses are called, but like, like they're like traditional Chinese dress. They, they always have this. They always have like the buttons and then this kind of cut. So that was like my inspiration for this dress. I made this dress. I made two of this dress. One for me, one for my mom. So my mom has the exact same thing, but has fit more because you know she has hips and she has bigger breasts. But I just look like a stick in mine. <laughs> Um, so I'm getting rid of this one because I'm not really feeling it anymore. I don't like how it looks on me. Oh, it has a slit here, by the way. So I'm getting rid of this one too. Lady in red. Ah, look, see, I like this dress. I like wearing this dress for parties or like weddings because you know I don't know how to dance. So if I want to do this, people are like, oh my gosh, she can't dance. Look at the way she moves. <laughs> but I absolutely love this dress. I made this dress because. I was um I was part of the bridal train for so for my ma okay so where I used to work in Nigeria the fashion school my manager was getting married and I was part of 
her bridal train so i made her wedding dress with her and then i made this dress for myself and the other um, bridesmaid dresses i made them too but mine was red the other bridesmaid was pink peach and the other one was silver i think we just had different colors of dresses we were just three bridesmaids and look at the back of this it has like a gore so it flows on the floor when i wear it i just like the way it's free and i can literally run if something happens in this i love this dress so much it's like one of my best projects i ever worked on even though some of these things actually most of these things are falling off because i've because i've had this for almost four years now i've had this for almost four years now okay so i, I couldn't zip the back all the way because it's just me and all these things are getting in the way but this is what it looks like on the back this is definitely staying there's no debate about that i'm still in love with this dress every time i wear it i always get compliments i'm still so in love you guys look at an up close view of it i'm still in love with this dress i love it and it makes me look like i actually have a figure eight or a bot or a shape which i don't but this dress is absolutely gorgeous if you're i feel like most people have clicked away from this video so if you're still watching the video up to this point just comment red in the comment section so that i actually know how many people watch this video to this point and if you're still here thank you i still have like just this more to go so keep watching so now this is a cute dress or whatever like it has pockets and everything it's green i like i like how the color looks on me and what i love most is the way i made these sleeves just look at how the sleeves make my skin look so beautiful and i incorporated the um lace right here too and it's just it's not it's not tight it looks like it's tight but it's not tight it just falls and i actually love this dress but i'm giving it away i'll be handing this one down <sighs> i hate to see you go but i'll say goodbye i don't know why i'm getting rid of this but i am this jumpsuit i still i'm in love with but i don't like the top i don't like the fact that i made the top white so i'm going to turn this into just pants get rid of the top and make it just pants because i still like the way the pants feel and it's so comfortable here or it fits me perfectly but i'm getting rid of this so this is staying and going because this one is going away and this one is staying but i was playing with this when i made this look at the back neckline i was trying to be original and i did that i don't know what i think of the back neckline but to be honest i don't like it anymore at this point in my life so i'm getting rid of this the top i'm going to like get rid of the top and just make this into pants because the pants look cute the fabric is cute and it's nice from the moment i made this dress everybody else but me liked it i don't know why wait i actually, to... I actually don't know why i do not like this dress okay i know why it's got the neckline it I... the neckline didn't come out the way i envisioned it to i don't know what i just made this dress and never liked it so i only wore it like twice so this one is definitely going away because I see I love this fabric. I remember when I got this fabric, I absolutely love this fabric and I like the way I actually did the bottom part. So that it's like the line is stops here and then it's lace still the bottom. But the top part of this, the neck part is what is throwing me off of this. I feel like I should turn this into a skirt and just skip it. But I feel like it's it's, a, it's not don't get me wrong, I think it's a cute dress, just not my style. So I'm definitely getting rid of this one. Can I put pockets on this? Oh, can I put pockets on this? I love this dress, but I don't know that I love it so much that I want to keep it. You know, you can wear it like this. Why is it? In? Ah, stay. You can wear it like this, like just look at what I did with the sleeves. I made like a handkerchief type thing for the sleeves, and it's somebody's. My friend saw this dress and stole this style. I'm not mad though, but I have the original. But that's what it looks like. I like this so now. I have, since I have two of this, it's actually going to be between the skirt. I wore the skirt before, like when I first started this video. It's going to be between the skirt and this dress. Which one should stay? <sighs> yeah, I know what you guys are saying, so I'm getting rid of the skirt too. Bye bye, skirt. Skirt's not staying anymore since I just realized I actually have the same fabric with both of them. But with the dress, you can actually wear it with a belt too. Let me use this pink belt. You can wear it with a belt so it looks. You can basically wear this dress in like four different ways. I have a video actually on my channel on where I style this dress in four different ways. So I'm going to include the link up so you guys can go watch it. But yeah, you can also wear it like this and gives it a whole different look. And can you see how cute that dress is? No, I'm not getting. I'm definitely keeping this dress. It's it's worth it. The only thing I like about it is that the lace for some reason makes it. It's like it's 
<laughs> I don't know the English word for chook, but it's choking me. What's the English word for chook? It's poking me. Yeah, I think that's the English word for that, but that's what it's doing to me. But this is a very cute dress and it has pockets, so I mean, why would I get rid of it? So this one is staying. If you notice, this one has the same sleeve with the one I just took off. But this one has... I, the, what I love most about this dress eh, is the fact that I used lace underneath the sleeves. So it's like a hidden treasure. Like that was just the vibe I was going for. Like, you know, I made it for a wedding. I was going, attending this wedding. And so when I'm dancing and everybody's like, wow, that has a pink underneath. It's like, I like dresses that just have like this hidden thing to them that only you know. I mean, this one most people know if I like take my hands off. And everybody always loves it when I take my hands off. Like, wow, there's actually lace underneath it. It just gives it this beautiful detail. But unfortunately, I would not be keeping this dress. So here's the thing. I love this fabric so much. This fabric was actually given to me as a gift by one of my students when I was teaching in the fashion school. But I'm going to get, I'm going to, I don't like the style of the dress anymore. I just love the sleeves. But I don't like the fit and the style of the dress. So I'm going to change it into something else. I'm going to like make this a shirt. I don't worry, I'm going to actually shoot a video and actually changing this dress into something else. So this is staying, but not fully. I'm going to shoot a video on how to how much changes and what I changed it into so you guys can see it. Everybody who sees this dress absolutely falls in love with it. This is just the highlight of the dress. The sleeves. Like, look what I did the sleeve. Okay, this thing is coming off the facing for this one and my bra is showing. But anywho, these are the sleeves. Like, this is just the highlight of the dress. This took me a while to do because for some reason I was there to have this weird detail on the sleeves and that's what that was what I did. I like how it's like ombre down and it has pockets here so you can just put your hands in the pockets and i like the way i did the pleats it's just not like a regular pleat so here is a massive box pleat what pleat is this no it's a massive kiss pleat and then they are not like box pleats on the side here i love this dress so i'm keeping it this one is staying it's like one of my best one of the best things i'm actually proud i made so i'm keeping this one so the next one I'm supposed to try is this one which I made, but I know this is not going to size me. I know it already that it's not going to size me. So I'm not going to try it, but this is what it looks like. I just made like this A-line dress for myself and I never wore it. So here's the thing, I love this fabric so much and I took the fabric from my mom, which at this point I feel so bad because I never got to wear any clothes because I didn't like them. But in the part of Nigeria which I grew up, this, this dress is popular among women. My mom has like a million of these type of dresses. So I was like, I can make one for myself, you know. But I just realized after making it that I actually don't like it. So it's cute and I actually spend a lot of money on this embroidery because I didn't do it myself. I had to take it out to an embroiderer to do it for me. So I spent money and also did the bottom too. So yeah, that's even more money. But I never got to wear it. And I don't think I'll use the fabric for any other. So I'll just hand this down to my siblings because they are skinnier than me. So this should enter them and they probably like it. I don't know. If you don't, I'll just give it away, but yeah, it makes me sad that I'm actually not wearing this dress or giving it away because it was my mom's fabric which I took and she made me promise I'll wear it, but yeah, that promise was broken because I never wore it. So you found that it. This, this top is actually a two-piece and this is what it looks like without the skirt. Now, let me show what it looks like with the skirt. I actually like making two-piece stuff because I like when I make an outfit and it's like multifunctional like can be used for something else or one with something why is it this one okay so i made it with this skirt just a gala skirt and remember i showed you guys how to make a gala skirt on my channel so now with this one let me zip it so i can show you the different ways i can actually wear it so i wear it like this like you know to give it this two layered i've never actually worn it like this but i can wear it like this i just choose to never wear it like this because i mean i've not had any reason to wear it like this and the second way is to actually tuck this one in so let me do that so this is the way i always wear it and when i tell you nobody ever knows the two-piece like nobody and i always get compliments when I, when I wear this one so now the choice is going to be between this one and this one because they're like practically the same color and yeah this one's actually three piece i'm going to put it on now but i think i'm going to keep this one and get rid of this one i'm still going to put it on so you guys can see it but this one just I like how it's fitted on the waist, it makes me look like I have a tiny waist. I just like this, it complements my shape. So this one is actually a crop top with a cold shoulder. I usually wear this with like jeans, just the top alone. And then it's a three piece. So it has this other piece to it. So this is like a detachable peplum. 
so like if i don't want to wear it just like that with the pants or maybe the pants are not as high waist as i want it to be i just use it to cover it so you just put it like this and it has like a zipper thingy or a hook thingy here which i just attach it i just like you know arrange it so this is one look and then this is another look where i just let this fall then it gives you this whole different look but i usually don't never do this but i'm just this and that way i can wear it if i choose to so now this is the skirt that i made to go with this you can't see it but then there's like a whole different cut from this angle that goes like this it's pretty to be honest i like the way it's like flare it's a six piece and this is what it looks like on it as a three piece so now our last and final one this dress is actually even cool i need to go iron this one or maybe not the camera doesn't show that it's squeezed let me see yeah but this last and final dress this dress has a lot of has got me a lot of gigs so that i saved the best for the last let me put it on do you guys remember the ad that i mentioned at the start of this video the ad i did well this was what actually gave me the spot on the ad when i went for the audition i showed them this dress and i showed them a picture no they went to my instagram and i saw a picture of this dress and they were like they absolutely loved it so i'm going to include a clip we actually still wore this dress on the ad and this dress really got me a lot of clients because they wanted the same style it has a zipper here so it's like a slit and you can wear it in two ways you can wear it like this oh it has pockets too in case you haven't noticed you can wear it like this or as a jacket let me wear as a jacket so you guys can see that this is how it can be worn as a jacket see it has its pockets and everything now actually i never wear it as a jacket to be honest because i didn't have any gear to wear it to but imagine you were working like in a big office and you had a board meeting and you worked this on maybe use the belt like you know just hold it so that each side can be open and then you walked into that meeting oh you're getting that deal because this dress is gonna get you that deal this dress is like i'm not getting rid of this even if i get rid of it i'm going to make the exact same style again because this dress i don't words cannot explain how much i love this dress and how much this dress has done so much for me so this dress i am keeping Whew. that was a long video that was a very long video if you're still here to this point my love for you it's more than my love for food at this point that's what i love most in his life i mean apart from god <laughs> second thing i love most no third thing i love most god family food yeah so i love more than food at this point thank you so much for watching this video i'm exhausted this was exhausting not stop that i have a whole bunch of clothes i still need to sort out because like i said did i say, did I say in the beginning of this video that i was actually decluttering my closet which is why i'm shooting this video so i know which one to keep and which one not to keep well, you guys go watch my decluttering video, which is going to be in the box right here. The box right here. Go watch that video, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you to the moon and back. And let me know what you think of this video in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. This subscribe button is still red. Please subscribe, because I'm going to be showing you guys um, next year, starting 2021. I'm going to be posting a lot of videos on how to make a lot of outfits, because I just got rid of half of my clothes. I need to get them back and i'm going to making them so make sure to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on my next video bye